geschah ein großes Erdbeben und die Sonne wurde finster wie ein heerenes Gewand und der Mond war wie voll Blut. Gonna go wake up your body. Gonna go wake up your body. Do your body, D. Do your bow. Good dipper. My poor cat, my snakes, if they're out on my day bed, they just can't stand to see her ignore them. They harass her and harass her until she gets up and pays them some attention. <laughs> this is Tipper. He was my rescue. You can't get behind the pillows. No, you cannot. No. <laughs> she rolls over on her back when she wants to play with them. Who's that? That your buddy. That your pal. I'm gonna give him kisses. Give Tipper kisses. Doesn't bite them or try to. They don't really bother with her either. They just hang out together. Ah, oh, here we go. You're not getting under the desk. No, 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 no desk for you. Tipper's being bad, dude. You better put him in check. He's trying to sneak off. Hey, get back over here. You're not hiding in the corner over there. No, you stay over here. One track mine. I'm telling you, snakes. The dipper. Is that your dipper? Yeah, is that your dipper? He woke you up, huh? Dipper wake you up. That's not nice. They just will not let her take a nap if she's on the bed. They'll just go over and wake her up. They'll keep bugging her till she wakes up and starts moving around and then they ignore her. That's a really weird relationship. No, you can't go down there. We don't play with your electrical wiring. That's not healthy. There's your buddy. No tipper. No wiring. No computer desk. No. What? He wakes you up and then ignores you? Isn't that the hoot, boy? Pesters you till he gets you up and then he leaves you alone. Oh, there he goes. He's behind you. And there's your pal. No, you're not getting under that shelf. They love getting in nooks and crannies everywhere they possibly can. They just... What? Oh, big stretch. Tipper, wake you up. Yeah, he did. See, that's a pain in the butt, that snake is. Ginger does the same thing. The cat snapping on the bed. They'll harass her until she gets up. Once she gets up, they usually just ignore her. It's kind of funny relationship. Well, this year's 11 years they've had this relationship and friendship between them. Never a bad day. Very social with each other. If they don't want to be bothered, they just ignore each other. It's basically very simple, but there's never any bad behavior toward each other. Yeah, there's your buddy just sneaking under you. Hey, Tipper. Did you dip her? Oh, I get Tipper hugs. Yeah. What's your pal? He woke you up, huh? Dipper's bad. Dipper's bad. He woke you up. Yeah, he did. Dipper woke you. You need a bath. Look at your hair. You've been lazy. Look at that. There's your buddy. There's your pal. You're not getting behind the pillows. Help. Oh, who's that? Who's that Dipper? Who's that Dipper? He can't scratch your head, silly. Dipper can't scratch your head. No, he can't. <laughs> Dipper can't scratch your back. You're weird. Here, have a snake. Oh. You goofball. You can't scratch your back. Aw. Yeah, trying to kiss him. Tipper doesn't like your scratchy tongue, neither does Ginger. No, they don't like your scratchy tongue. <laughs> yeah, they You're a good old girl. 14 years old. Yeah. Dipper's watching television. Naturally. He woke you up. The Dipper woke you up.
He's watching television. No, he's definitely going to ignore you. My snakes love TV. What are you doing? You watching TV? She's very careful not to step on the snake. She'll hold her foot up or step over them. She's real aware of every move they make. And she's very protective of them. It's a really a unique relationship, but it's been going on for 11 years now. But she's very gentle with them. They just don't like her scratchy tongue when she tries to kiss them and wash them. And that the poop <laughs> wakes you up and then leaves you. Huh. There's your foot. There's Dipper. <laughs> Where's he going, Dee? Where's he going? Huh? You better keep him in check. Let's go sneak around your tray and you can see what it is. He's over there. Oh, he can't get under that shelf. Sorry, pal. He's going to get on the computer. No, you're not. Those wires. That thing will eat you up, Tipper. <laughs> you're going back around again. Hey, Keep an eye on him. He's trying to get into mischief today. Yep. Tipper's looking for trouble over there. He's determined to get on his computer. Get him, Dave. Get him, Deeper. There he goes. No, he's not. He just thinks he is. <laughs> She's not going to watch you, too. They just do not like her. She tries to love them up and watch them and mother them and they just do not like this way to come at all. Peter's a good kid. Very loving kid. She has a lot of patience with the snakes, for sure. They harass the heck out of her sometimes. She's trying to rest or just laying around with me. They just pest her terrible sometimes, but she's very patient with them. So yes, I love them. I love them like friends. And there he goes again. That's a lamp. Yep. You can't get on the computer desk. 